Once upon a time, there was a boy named Tim who had two very loving parents. Tim was a very kind, energetic, and bright child. Every day, he would come back from school to the loving embrace of both his parents. In his eyes, they were the loving husband and wife he always thought they were. But below the surface, they weren't so happy. One day, Tim received news that his parents were getting a divorce. He was only eight years old at the time, and he was far from ready to go through such a tragic event. They didn't feel like they loved each other anymore, but they were civil for the sake of their son. After the divorce, Tim started to go back and forth from both his parents every week. This sudden change caused Tim to feel he couldn't depend on his parents as much. Tim became insecure and unstable, throwing more tantrums than usual and starting to wet the bed. With no sibling and only one parent present, Tim grew accustomed to a lonelier and quieter life. Also, Tim had to get used to living in two houses with two different sets of rules. His dad was very laid back, communicative, and supportive, while his mom was strict, quiet, and rather distant. As a result, like many other children of divorce, Tim entered adolescence earlier than most but exited later because he lacked a solid, secure lifestyle. Both his parents were also not very well off. Before the divorce, they were living paycheck to paycheck, and things only got more difficult afterward. This lack of security caused him to feel unhappy and struggle in school. However, a couple months after the divorce, Tim's mom met Bob. His mother remarrying helped him move on from the divorce of his two parents, and it helped alleviate a lot of their financial stress as well. By the time Tim was 10, Tim was no longer sad about the divorce, and he looked forward to being with his other parent when he was with one. Tim was part of a traveling soccer team and got help from a tutor every other day. He had an established routine, his school performance improved, and he was a lot less lonely spending every day with his friends on the team. He lived a normal life for the rest of his years throughout middle school and high school, but he had some difficulty in his love life. As an adolescent, Tim developed a weak sense of identity because of the two very different lifestyles he had. This role confusion inhibited his ability to grow intimate with any of the girls he went out with in high school. By the time he was in his junior year in college, Tim met Susan. They started dating and quickly fell in love. They both loved each other very much, and after four years of being together all the way through college, Tim proposed to Susan with a resounding yes in response. Susan was also a child of divorce, and the odds of their marriage lasting was three times worse than that of couples whose parents did not have a divorce. Children of divorce learn that divorce is okay because they see their parents do it, the more knowledgeable others in their life. As a result, their post-conventional morality is affected, and children of divorce will often have less commitment to the idea of a lifelong marriage and more difficulty trusting others. Fortunately, this did not happen to Tim and Susan. They married in a church on top of a hill a year after their proposal, and they lived a very happy life together with two kids despite the negative long-term effects divorce has on most children. They cherished each other and their children, and they didn't want them to suffer the tragedy of divorce. They beat the odds, and they set an amazing example for their kids.